Hey everybody, coming back at you with another one. It's that time. Steven, I'm getting into that box. Starting with a not black naga. That looks just mean as hell. Like I said in my other video, I I grew these from seeds from Steven and mine came out black. So, so much for the not black naga. So I have a black not black naga. And I didn't try it. I sent it out. Or no, I didn't send it out. I didn't try it. I took it to work. The uh, black nog I sent out, I think I sent them to Sean, if I remember right. Him and Dave did them. And those are some gnarled up looking things. But this just says Mean Red Cross. And I heard the exact same thing about this, as I said in my last video. That it's pretty freaking mean. I have no idea the flavor. Or any of that, but... I heard it's just an ass kicker. Oh God! I'll tell you, man. Anytime you see the walls are soaking wet, oh my God! What in the hell? Whenever you see soaking wet walls and gold walls, see that? placenta is all yellow along the walls and the placenta is also pinkish red on this one that's not a good sign all the gold on the walls yeah it tells me it's going to be brutal there's a lot of seeds so I don't have too much to dig out here this is a freaking specimen though I'll tell you it's definitely a nice gnarly looking pot kind of a lazy day sitting around still on vacation and experimenting with batches of reaper brittle and, and honing that down to being just perfect took a couple to get back in the swing I haven't made it in a while kind of made the first batch it was a little sticky just a little too sticky on the teeth for me I don't like it when it does that brittle but if you guys are interested, I got a video up. You probably most of you know that from a long time ago of how to make it. It's a two-part video. It shows exactly how to make it. It's not that hard, really. All you need is a good thermometer, good candy thermometer. Oh boy, it looks even worse now that I pulled them out. There is so much liquid in there. Look at this. If I can hold this up, it's real flimsy walls. Just liquid glore. I'm not a huge fan of Nagas, man, in boots. Oh my god. I didn't even smell it. It smells. Oh boy. There's no denying what the hell that is. isn't going to help. Enough to lay in. <sighs> a little hesitant today. Alright. Not Black Naga Mean Cross from Steven. Thanks, brother. Good flavor. Oh, wow. Wow, not bad at all. Flavor wise. Oh, God, it's already burning the shit out of my lips for some reason. Just a few seeds in there. Oh. Woo. This is a stinger. Stinging the shit out of my lips. 
in the entire front of my tongue and under the front of my tongue. Nothing on the throat. I swallowed. I thought it was a big chunk to swallow. I thought I'd feel that go down, but not yet. But it's early. It's got a pretty wicked mouth burn <coughs> so far. It's not, uh, it's not freak out hot yet, but it's building. It's Naga based, so I'm sure it's, it's going to climb and I can feel it already starting to go. It's heading slowly to the back. Now my whole tongue is engulfed. <clears throat> the sides of my tongue, no roof of the mouth. Lips are freaking out. They feel like they're inner tubes right now. I swear I didn't brush that damn thing on my lips. I was really careful. dipped them in the freaking acid or gasoline or something. Oh shit, it's right at the top of my throat. <clears throat> yep, oh don't go down there. Oh the mouth is getting off, my salivary glands are getting off. Oh boy, definitely got a Naga type burn. Flavor was pleasant, not bad at all, not as floral as I expected it. <clears throat> I don't know what it's mixed with, or if it's just an off Naga. I don't know what they mixed it with to get it, try to get it black. Oh shit, no, I did bring out these. but it tastes a lot like a naga, but not quite as floral as a boo or anything like that. Oh, shit. It's latching onto my throat. Not as bad as yesterday, but it's on both sides now. <coughs> and affinity was freaking hellacious on the throat. <coughs> this one's going after the old glands. Wow, my tonsils feel like they're on fire. Yeah, this one's definitely hot. Makes my tongue feel numb, kinda. Lips are freaking vibrating with pain. Mm. I feel like I want to stretch them. Got me sweating like crazy. Oh, the throat. The mouth is actually bearable now. It hurts like hell, but it's not not like yesterday. Affinity has more of a punch. But the throat, man, God. I absolutely hate that burn. It's so specific, it feels like you actually have a coal in your throat, like they always say. It's like a coal sitting there, burning that spot, and this is all just hot and warm, but both sides. Oh, makes it hard to even swallow drool. Oh, this one's heading right down to the stomach. Right at the top of the stomach, it's just heating up. Definitely not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was, expect, I was expecting to get ruined by that, but oh, spitting all over. But I've been eating some really nasty ones lately, so that's probably got a lot to do with it. Tolerance is high. <clears throat> it's not letting go, though, let me tell you. It's peaked. It's not going any deeper. It's just hanging right there. starting to come down a little. Really nice pad. I've been waiting a long time to do that. 
I think if I'd have done it last year, it would really kick my ass worse. Just getting a little more tolerant, eating all these really nasty ones, especially from Steven. He's got some just hellacious pods this year. Good pod, but we'll see what this next batch of mine come out like. They're starting to just now pot up. I got a feeling they're going to be brown. Wow. Oh, it's just slow to go. It's not going away quick. It's still all over my lips. Just a nasty lip burn. Luckily my throat is just barely starting to mellow, just enough to make it not excruciating. It's still very hot though. My tongue, everything's kind of just hanging. It's going down a little. He sent me a really big fat bag of these massive reapers you've been seeing him posting pictures of. <coughs> experimenting with brittle. I'm making another batch tonight of some special brittle for somebody that has been wanting me to do it for a long time, so I'm going to. I'm not going to say who. I'm just going to surprise him with it. But you guys need to get out there and try it. I'll tell you, I've, over the summer, I, beginning of the summer when there wasn't really a lot of pods, I made some a lot of different batches, well a couple batches, I shouldn't say a lot, recently I haven't made any, but I made some batches with uh, different powders. <clears throat> One was a smoke Dougal powder. It came out okay. It was good. The consistency of the brittle came out flawless, which is the tricky part. The flavor, I think it was just too much smokiness, it stayed with you. I eat it and it I can taste it for an hour that smoked powder flavor in my mouth, which is really good at first, but it just doesn't go away. It's a little overwhelming. I put too much. Maybe half that and half of another powder would have been great. <sighs> Jesus. Just fires it up when you talk. <clears throat> I made a batch last night with half of those, half of those uh, reapers in it. And I covered it in uh, chocolate, which is what I've been wanting to do. Hoping it would work. It worked kick ass. It's just the chocolate chips that I used were uh, just regular Hershey's chocolate chip. They were milk chocolate, so they weren't hard enough. When they harden back up, they don't harden enough. You know, it's too st sticky to touch. You get it on your hands, and just not what I wanted. It stuck to the peanut brittle really nice, like I was worried about. And the flavor is unbelievable. It's phenomenal together. Jesus, it's just kick ass. I put a little too thick of a layer, which is not always a bad thing, but. <sighs> wow. That got him on fire. My lips are still burning, if you can believe that. They are just freaking torn to hell. I feel like they're swollen and red. <sighs> Pulsing. Tonight I'm doing a little different twist on it with some different, uh, I'm just going to use Hershey's chocolate, but the, uh, the dark chocolate seems a lot harder to the touch, so I'm just going to use Giardelli for some of a nicer 60% cacao chocolate, but <clears throat> they only had bittersweet, and I don't want that. I don't want it to be sweet, so I didn't have any of that kind available at the store, so whatever. This will be fine. I just won't put a stick of layer and it should harden up better. Wow, but I want you guys to go on there and try it. Try to make it, at least make the blazing peanuts. Those come out phenomenal. Super easy. That's a nice transition to the brittle because it's a little bit more of a couple steps to the brittle. But give it a shot, man. You'll, you won't regret it. Comes out phenomenal. Mike at uh, Pepper Chronicles took it and kind of adjusted it and made his own little swing on it. It came out kick ass. So, it's not stopping you from doing that either. Oh, what I wanted to say about powders, real quick, without making this a freaking novel video. Uh, I don't like the powders as much. I don't know. It's all right in a pinch, like if you don't have any peppers, but something about the fresh peppers in there, you can really taste them. I mean, it 
it makes a huge difference to me. You can whenever you eat powder like that, it kind of you can kind of tell you ate powder. You know what I mean? Like if you sprinkle powder on the pasta or something, you can kind of tell. You feel it in your mouth. It's I don't know something about it. I just that doesn't strike me right. You know, it's it's better cooked into something. But even when you cook it into the brittle, it's not in there long enough to really break it down. It's still kind of powdery. <laughs> Anyhow, just personal preference, but. I think y'all need to try a batch with some fresh pods, de-seed them, chop the living hell out of them, and put them in. I'll show you about how much in the video, because I used fresh in the video. And uh, put them in at about 260, 270 degrees, let them go for a little bit to get the water cooked out of them. That's why my last batch was a little sticky. I tried putting them in right at the end to not cook them as much, and just enough to get the water out, and I don't think I got it all out. So. You guys who I just sent that to, that's why it's a touch sticky and sticks to your teeth a little bit. It's kind of stuck together, which it shouldn't do. But anyhow, the flavor's good. But put them in at about 260, 270. Let it go for about a minute on medium high. Let it really rock and make sure you aren't burning your peanuts or cashews. And then dump in the cashews. Let it go back up to 310 or so. Really watching the color so it doesn't get too dark. And then go from there and do the final steps. That's it, man. It's not bad. Spread it on a freaking tray and let it sit there. As soon as it starts to harden, you can kind of, it takes a long time to cool. If you just let it sit there, it'll be it'll be too hot to touch for an hour. So there's no real hurry once it's done. You get it all spread out and just wait until it's kind of semi-hard but still movable. <clears throat> Sprinkle it with any kind of chocolate and it'll, it melts like instantaneously. It's so freaking hot. Just give it a minute, come back with a spatula and it's just like spreading water. So it's super easy. Anyhow, there's my tips of the day. Uh, have fun with it, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the pod, Steven. It was kick-ass. Uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.